Okay, I'm now going to create a walking animation. So over here, I'm going to double click and rename that as walking or running. I'm going to make it run. Just walk. Let's call it walking or walk. Right. Um, and this is an important bit. So I'm on frame zero down the bottom left here, and I want to get this correct. So I'm going to rotate this bone out a bit. Now I'm going to do this quickly. You probably want to download my screenshots of how the animation should be to get this correct. So yeah, so I'm going to move each bone one by one just to get this correct. And we're also doing the arms so that you've got a So you've got kind of realistic kind of arm positions. Right, so that's going to be roughly our starting position. I'm going to go along to roughly frame 125, 126. I've got really high resolution here, which makes this hard to see. But if you notice down there. It says 123. I don't know if you can see that there, current time. I want to go to 126. Okay, so roughly around about 125, 126, we want to do our next, what's called a keyframe. So I'm going to adjust that arm also slightly. And the same with this, I'm going to be pulling that in and moving up also slightly. And um, this. The front leg is going to come forward. Now you've got to make sure you get the front and back legs correct and you don't mix them up or it will look ridiculous. Okay, that one's coming a slight bit forward, but the back bit is coming down and the foot's coming up a bit. Okay. On to the frame, we're on about 247. The main thing about the frame numbers is to get them evenly spaced out is the main thing. Okay, so next frame we're pulling this arm back and this arm is actually coming forward a bit and the hand's coming up. This leg is coming back a bit and the leg is tucking in more. Whoops, don't move it. Remember to move it, that will animate as well. This leg is coming forward. Right, so remember, we are tweening, so the computer is going to fill in the gaps here to what we do. Okay, on to 3371. Right, so roughly at frame 371, I say roughly, I've done it exactly. And move that arm up to there, and this one to there, this one to there, this one is coming forward quite a bit. And the back one. This is hard to get these ones right now, but the back one is coming back so on to frame four three three. It's close enough four three two, that'll do. Um right, so the arm looks like the arm staying roughly the same, so we're just moving these legs a bit. So this leg here is coming up a bit, tiny, tiny bit, and this leg here is straightening. And the back leg is coming out a bit more. Maybe down a bit like that, and maybe it's coming up. 
feel free to be at some point during this to like nod the head. It doesn't hurt to have a little bit of movement at some point along with the head. You read about that in the rules of animation, why you should do that. Um, and then we're going to go to frame 495 and we off about there. We change to 495. Hit enter by the way when you do current time if you want to get it to go to that frame. By the way, always untick this little icon here that says that the looping. Don't ever loop it. It's bad. Right, okay. So we're at frame 495. The arms are actually just moving slightly back down, uh, out a bit like so. That one hasn't isn't moving much, maybe just slightly. The, this leg is moving forward again still and out more. This leg is moving back. You can put the foot back. Okay, and on to frame six one nine. Okay, so arm is straightening up slightly. This one is coming out a bit. The back leg is now the front the back leg is now which has gone forward is now starting to go out of the way. And this one is starting to come back forward and it's tucking up. Okay, on to frame seven four four. And arms tucking in. I'm not spending as long on the arm as I probably should because I'm more concerned about the feet, but we shouldn't really dismiss the dismiss it. Right, so this leg is now coming back to here. And this leg is coming quite a bit forward now, if I can get a hold of that one. And we're almost done, frame 8, 6, 9. Right, 869. I don't know what I did there, why it disappeared, but we're on 869. Okay, so arms are coming right down now. Tucking in. So this leg now is going pretty much all the way back. This one is forward a bit more, but the main thing is the bottom half of the leg is swinging forward to right there. Okay, and one more to do, go to 945, it's close enough, 944, so slight adjustments to the arms, but not a lot to be honest. Um, 
the leg is going back just a slightly bit more. And the leg is a tiny bit forward, but straightening out more. And then this is an important trick to make it match. So when it loops, um, we don't want that looping, that looping button because it does it back to front. But the normal loop will repeat through from frame 1000 back to frame 0. Um, 1000 by those milliseconds, so this is one second long. The trick is make sure you go back to frame 0, double click on it, go to frame 0, go to edit, copy current frame. I'm going to save at this time as well before it crashes. Go to frame 1000 and then go to edit and paste, which will paste that frame. That means frame 1000 exactly matches frame 0, which is, means that it will repeat properly. Now I'm going to hit play and see how my round did. That's not bad. I think, I think that's pretty good. I think that left arm is a bit, well, I'm not too happy with that, but the running is pretty good. I quite like it. I like the fact that the head's nodding. I'd say I'm actually pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't, I don't know about this left arm. I might fiddle with that a bit more, but that, that's okay. I'm quite happy with it. Let's save that project. And there's two things we can do. Now, export animation. We can export it to a GIF and we can ex export it to a sprite strip or sheet. I'm going to export it to a sprite strip. It's currently set in 17 by 2. I'm going to do 24. And I'm going to set images to 24. I'm just going to do a sprite strip so it's 24 frames across the way with one vertical frame. Um, I'm going to put the output down to 25% because I'm going to do it so it's reasonably small for the for the game. And to be honest, you, you don't need it big for a game and it also keeps the size down. So I'm going to export that. I am going to call it Ninja Walk Sprite Sheet and save that. And what we should get now, hopefully, if I go to my desktop, um, is a walking animation. Oh, here it is. Here's my. There we go. Here's my sprite strip, which we can import into game engines like Unity. Okay. The other thing we can do is make an animated GIF. So I'm going to export animation. Choose animated GIF. Keep it as 24. Keep the size. Hit export. Call it Ninja Walk. And save that. It might take slightly longer to generate, as you can see. Notice up the top here it's doing it. And there we've got a GIF. So we've got a little ninja walking GIF. I'm not quite right, although the left arm is bugging me. Okay, I hope that was helpful.